Peacock, and you're watching Mad Lad of Culture. Hello to the Mad Lad, first immersion reaction time to Isekai Camp Cooking episode 1 and 2. Woo! Yes, guys, I'm doing a back to back reaction because last week, well, you can pretty much tell from the background right now because I'm back in Taiwan. So last Tuesday, I had to like, take a fly, and of course, an overnight flight too. So that's why I missed out on the anime. I just wanted to do like I literally after I landed in Taiwan. So I wanted to take a break, relax, and you know, chill out with the family. So that's why I save it for this, well, this week basically for a back to back reaction. So hope you guys, you know, enjoy my two episode first impression. Well, to be honest though, I'm just gonna go into it and see how much animation Mappa have been adding to this, well, Isekai camp cooking yeah literally a, a guy in isekai and he's have the skill to cook some amazing food for beasts and well spirits or whatever and make them like work for him or like him a lot or something like that along the line so i can pretty much can tell what's gonna happen from the trailer but let's just see how the first two episodes go because i have a feeling it's gonna be a very interestingly wholesome yet food porn like episode so with that let's get started with the first two episodes shall we Oh, so we jump right into the isekai stuff already? Okay. Dude, I'm getting some Arifaretha vibes from this, man. <laughs> like, they've been identified for some specific skill to persist and stuff like that. Online grocery? What? That's his skill? Online groceries? And he is now being mistreated because of his hit ability, which will become very useful soon, I guess. Dude, that is the royalty. That king, he looks unfit to be king, to be honest. <laughs> oh my god, of course. Because he's in the fantasy world, wearing suit like that will make him stand out the most. And he's finally changed back to normal. Cool. And at least he have a place to stay for the time being, before he get his ha no head around what the hell to do now. So I don't get it. So his unique skill is online shopping, netto sh uh, super. So what he can like buy stuff like instantly on like literally using those like you know just uh, whatever pro program they have in this uh, game like fantasy world. Oh no shit! He literally just summoned um, Amazon. <laughs> oh what? No way, that is just a vending machine then, if you think about it. It's a fucking vending machine! That you can buy and get order stuff easily. Like, oh my god, dude, this is just crazy skill he has here. So near the end though, he still needs money for his skill. That is not a very big advantage to be honest, but at least he can get stuff instantly. So it seems like our hero, our main MC, traveled to another country already. Oh, well, he cannot go anywhere now because of the borders closed. Dude, he's basically on a vacation then because he basically can't really do much as a hero. Like, interesting. Seven gold for like a company, like, damn. Well, I mean, why not just try to go yourself then? Well, seems like he got himself a very trustworthy companion for the time being. Okay, sure. Wow, seems like a very generic, well, guild team, I guess, and they're here to accompany him. <laughs> like, they sell a uh, stove at, in the fantasy world. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, thank God for your unique skill. You don't have to waste 50 gold coins for a stove. Oh, damn. He actually makes some good food. Okay. Well, I mean, at least he can bond with his guild team through food. Through Food is the best way to make people happy, I would say. Okay, some guild stuff going on now. Let's do this. Hey. I mean, they can actually use it for food, I guess. Well, at least they got some really high quality meat now. Oh my god, look at the quality of the food. Like, Mappa, I know where Mappa put all the budget into for the animation already. Bought all fuel and bread. Oh my god, dude, dude, dude. This is quality food right here, man. I am just so happy to see some quality food porn for this anime. Well, we have some food wars, so like reaction for food now. Good stuff. Good stuff. 
Oh, look, he has improved stats. Oh, oh, wow, okay. Well, I guess the food works in the end. I mean, it is a uh, isekai after all, so anything they eat will improve the stats. That's how it works, I guess. I mean, it basically improve, you know, uh, supplementation on, you know, the training and stuff like that. Oh, look, it's the wolf from the anime trailer. Oh my god, more cooking porn? Okay, oh my god, this should be fun, man. How you cut the meat is just like so overwhelmingly pleasing. Oh, that looks so good, oh my god. Bro, I'm hungry again. Bro, that looks fucking insanely good, man. Like, they, they just be spoiled for good food right now. Oh, food world reaction. Yes, let's go. <laughs> oh, wow, that's even better, man. That is just good stuff. That is good stuff. Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh, shit, what's going on? Oh, no, the wolf finally show off, show himself, man. Dude, he just, he's just hungry for his cooking, man. Like, what the hell? <laughs> so, I don't get it. So, they're scared of this Fender thing. Maybe because it's a god class so, uh, monster or something. Wow. Holy shit. Oh my. He said, he said, oh my. What the hell, man? They're wasting meat. Dude, they should just trade off those meat, man. Oh my god. Dude, this vineyard thing has a big diet for sure. Wait, what now? For a contract? Why, what? You cannot say no to those eyes. <laughs> Dude, he would have become your contracted, you know, familiar so that I can cook every day for him, okay? And they became master and servant. Well, I guess that's how it works now. Oh my god, for real now? <laughs> He's cooking for Fenrir now. Oh, wow. Okay. Really interesting first episode, man. At least it kickstart, you know, introducing our MC got Isekai without giving backstory to him. And, well, I, from what I can see is that he's quite a laid-back character and he's quite good, good at cooking and he can use his unique skill to get ingredients to make some really good food. Sure, I guess. So, I guess now you have a, uh, contracted with like uh, one of the most powerful creatures in the land, even if the, the guild team was afraid of it, afraid, afraid of it. So, okay, sure. I mean, you know, every episode, we're just going to see him being, go around cooking amazing food, some, give us some food porn, and impress all the creature, powerful creatures along the way. So, well, I guess we're in for some interesting Shokiku no Soma Isekai version. Yes, guys, I said it. This is the Food War Isekai version and I'm all for it, to be honest. And Mappa, I can see where Mappa put all the budget for the animation. Sure, man. So yeah, let's just see what's the next creature that he's going to impress with cooking in episode 2 impression coming out right now. Well, I guess the, well, Fenrir is called Fel. What a basic way of naming a, well, a spiritual dog in this case. And the funny thing is, it's the same voice actor as Rengoku and Overlord Ainz. So, yeah, very interesting character. Oh, well, animal indeed. Like, seriously, Fenrir can, cannot change into some sort of, like, humanized small form or something? Exactly. Can so can Fenrir like turn to some sort of like spiritual small form or something? That just makes the situation even worse. Okay, so don't even think about it. Yeah, that's true though. If you he won't cook for you, he might as well catch his own food. I guess. <laughs> exactly. You he's his master, so he can tell him what to do. Oh wow! Yeah, he defeated like in instantly. Like damn. So I guess he's gonna make some yakitori or something, or just another fried chicken. <laughs> Bro, look at the animation, man. That is just peak. 
Uh, and of course, feed the dog, man. Feed the dog. <laughs> well, seems like things just escalating really quickly. <laughs> Thanks, Fenrir. Well, let's just hope he can keep the promise. I mean, you know, you want food, of course. Dude, is there any, like, you know, obvious evidence he can, in the form of contract? Like, seriously, just let him pass, man. And, of course, of course, man, no food if you cause trouble, man. That's a good way to punish him. And they arrive in their hospitality kingdom for the time being, of course. So he's a wandering tourist or something in this isekai world. So yeah, sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure he should be going by himself if he just want to wander around wherever, whenever and wherever he wants. Uh, yeah, a very sketchy person already appearing in front of him. Why am I not surprised? Um, you better not cause any trouble, man, because Fender is here to, so, you know, defend his master. Yes, thank you. Well, at least he scares him away. That's a good, that's a good, you know, buddy right there, I say. Oh, damn. So a dragon is his, like, weakness of opponent. That interesting. Well, it's goodbye to you, Guild Team. It's been amazing, well, one episode journey with them. And of course, he gains attention from everyone. Uh, yeah, of course. Well, at least there's a class to this, I guess. So he must well work his way up. Wow, that was fast. He already gained his license. Nice. Well, more Shokiki no Soma stuff, I guess. <laughs> Dude, like, Mappa Studio know where the priority is, man. Putting sure, making sure the food, like, animated perfectly for us to, like, savor it. Oh my god, the liquid effect, man. Oh my god, this is just incredible, man. Dude, I think this series is gonna, it gonna just educate us about seasoning and how to, you know, utilize the best pro possible products to cook amazing foods. Oh, fluffy rice, man. As an Asian, I can just love to see this. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. Mmm. Oh, mate. This is too much for me already, man. I love a good food. Oh. Seems like the products he brought in is quite rare, I guess. Oh, ho ho ho. Yep, he got himself some interesting products to trade with some high money ex in exchange. Yeah, he's not gonna say that, man. He's not gonna say what is online. <laughs> Wait for the reaction. Wait for it. There we go. Yeah, dude, the exchange is like, dude, this is good business, man. This is good business. Dude, just take the money, man. Just take the money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the adventure guild is quite sketchy place, anyways, and they like don't give a shit attitude. You can see the stark difference in terms of service in different different guild and stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, it's perfect for you though. You have a, a strong family to take care of all business for you, anyways. Wait, what? Oh my god, damn. Fenrir's stats are incredible, aren't they? Like, holy shit. Well, I mean, they are legendary animals after all. No, <laughs> they're craving for his cooking now. <laughs> you know, you could have just hired him to be part of your guild anyway. Well, guild team in this case. Oh my god. Wherever, man. Wherever. A very wholesome you know, episode where we get to see our lovely, well, boy, you know, just to go and register his, well, contract, I guess, in terms of being a merchant and a adventurer. So, I mean, to be honest, though, I would say that he is quite OP already in terms of like taming a Fenrir. Well, what's next? A legendary fairy, which we might see in a couple episodes, and a slime. So... 
well, I can somehow see how the story gonna progress from now on. Like basically, you know, he just cooks some amazing food for us to enjoy, for us, you know, savor from the, those amazing Mappa animations and feeding Fenrir, feeding the other like well creatures or fairies or wherever, and come across some interesting ingredients he can go about to explore the way of cooking around it. To be honest though, he could easily just open a restaurant in like you know any kingdom he goes to and he can earn big money from it or he, he can just use his online shopping abilities to exchange good for easy profit which you know is a, basically what he's doing right now so well he, basically he's quite a uh, businessman himself too so he's a merchant in this case so yeah i get i guess you can say that he has a quite easy life right now i mean of course there's gonna be some challenges along the way too like uh, basically like maybe some people are coming after him for Maybe his fender or something like that, but still though, like the fact that he is able to you know, cook some amazing food in the isekai world using, well, regular ingredients we can find in supermarkets nowadays, and just to in order to please the people there, it just shows the fact that our the world and our the cooking in our world can easily please people in the isekai fantasy world. So I can somehow see the fact that this story, this every every episode gonna be quite episodic in terms of how he gonna like you know cook some amazing food and meet some new people and stuff like that so i'm not really sure like whether this is something unique but in terms of like the fact that it's cooking in isekai well i can give it that of course so yeah hope you guys enjoy my reaction to well a very another typical day of cooking in another in the isekai world that pleases a venue and smash the like button guys and like I said, if you guys enjoy my reactions, comment below, of course. And whether you guys want me to continue with this, do show me the love and stuff like that. But with that said, hope you guys enjoy my reaction, and I'll see you guys then.